Welcome to the Metal Prognosis, my name is Lee, and on today's video we are rectifying something that we did in a previous video. So I have the Precision Drive here by Demon FX with the Harley Benton Mighty 15th uh, amp head here. And last time, I'll put a picture on quickly on the amp settings, there's nowhere near enough gain for the Precision Drive to be able to boost it and to really, well, didn't have enough to work with. So we're attacking this again with a little bit more gain and let's see if we can give this pedal a better chance and seeing how far we can take it. So, cue the intro and then we'll get stuck into it. Now I have everything set up and ready to go. Grab my seven string here. So this is a sound that we were running before that was giving us the actual issue. So we need to give that a hell of a lot more gain. So let me push the gain a bit. So that is pushing the gain nearly to max on the amp. So now let's see if we can get from the max gain, uh, so if you shape it with, that was a really bad stutter, so I'm gonna start that one again. So let's see now that we've got the max gain pretty much happening on the Harley Benton. Let's see what the precision drive can take it. So we engage it. It's not peaking. No, it's looking good those levels. So that is sounding a lot better because I just quickly watched the video again uh, of the Eris to see where it is at and um, yeah, much better. So the volume's looking good. Uh, let's muck around the brightness just to see the effect of it. Let's crank it to full or close to full, just to really get an A-B comparison. I actually like it uh, pretty full. <laughs> that's that's good, um, cool. So let's see uh, how it reacts with the attack. So this has five different stages on it. So let's dial through them. Oh, move the volume a little bit, but that's okay. So that's sounding less aggressive the more we go across. Whew, that was a bad note. So we dial it all the way back to where it was to it when we started. So that seems to be the most aggressive with that setting there. So we're definitely keeping to that. 
Uh, the other thing we'll try is a bit of drive because I normally don't like using drive on these because um, normally they're not that crash hot compared to uh, kind of giving it a cleaner boost and altering the already distorted uh, that you have running through your ramp head. But let's try it. So it definitely breaks it up in a bad way. But this attack was softer when we had it all the way across. Let's put it all the way back across and now let's try it with the drive. That's a pretty cool effect, I don't mind that. So I think that seems to be the best balance between them is either this having the attack on low and using uh, its internal drive or having the drive all the way down and the attack on whatever that setting is there. So the other, having it the other way, this is a bit time consuming having to do this for an A-B comparison. All right, there's a lot more buzz there, but that's okay because the gate is doing its job. Seems to have a lot more higher end um, oomph to it and a bit of a punch, which is really, really interesting because a couple of times I've used this, I've never stumbled across this because I've normally avoided that, but I'm glad I found it now. So just do a quick A-B comparison here. So we're going from, um, the original sound was miles apart, absolutely miles apart. So it definitely gives a lot more volume, a lot more oomph, a lot more push and a lot cooler characteristics to it. So what I might do is I'll take a little bit of a step away from the camera. We'll do two jams. We'll do it one with this setting that we've got now with a bit of drive pushing it and the attack all the way across to the right, whatever that means. And then we'll do the other one where the drive's all the way down and the attack all the way to the left, which whatever settings that is. There's no instruction manuals with this. So uh, I can only go purely off altering and using my ears. I actually don't know what that, um, attack how it is actually altering and changing the sound from a technical perspective. I just know what effect it has on the sound. So sit back, relax, enjoy the two tunes, and we'll have a bit of a chat about it on the other side. And yeah, definitely let me know which one you prefer. So let's get stuck into it.
Time for some final thoughts of matching up the precision drive here by Demon FX with my Harley Benton Mighty 15th amp head. So firstly, thank you to everyone who saw the first video and commented on it and to let me know firstly where my error was and not being a jerk about it. So thank you very much, I appreciate that because that definitely inspired me uh, to redo it again to really try uh, to see where this could take it from a better perspective using a better foundation to work from. And not only that, the major surprise was we found two different awesome settings with this, which I was uh, kind of, I think I described a little bit in the, in the setup where I normally avoided this drive because it broke up the sound too much, but going a little bit backwards and forwards, and when I say a little bit, as you saw, hardly any backwards or forwards, with mucking around with the different um, relationship between the attack and drive, we've got some really cool different characteristics type of sound out of this which inspired the third mix I did. It wasn't a third jam, because I just mixed two jams uh, together uh, to give those two different uh, type of things to make something unique and I found to be a lot fuller. And not to mean fuller in sounds, but it's amazing where you can create a foundation sound like we did and then utilize the other sound to just fill in little characteristics and little gaps to help it give that overall uh, spice and flavor and aggression that we love it in our uh, guitar tones when we're doing this, especially in, not sure if this is in Prey or not, hopefully it is, in low tuning guitars as well. So there it is. Definitely keen for your thoughts on my proper attempt and more successful <laughs> attempt of hooking this up with uh, the Harley Benton Mighty 15th as well, if you preferred the first, second, or the third uh, mix that I did with this. So definitely keen to hear your thoughts on it. And just a little bit of transparency as well. I used the um, Coffee Audio Customs uh, IR pack, the Roman Ginger uh, signature, uh, one that they brought out. So that's it. Thank you very much for joining me this video. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed doing this and putting it together. It was lots of fun. And I really look forward to chatting with you next time. And until next time, please stay safe.